Long ago, two races ruled over the earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Somehow, they sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Undertale. Well, welcome to Let's Play Undertale, because I might as well. I really like RPGs, I'm really excited. Whoops. Not used to this setup, not used to having Z and X, my A button. That'll deal. Well, so, uh, thank you for tuning in to the VOG box where I learned how to type correctly. And I'm. I don't really know much about this game. I know some things. I've seen the first hour or two of the game. That's not right. And I fought one boss at my at someone I know his house, and that's it, really. I know some other things, but I don't know. Overall, I know pretty much nothing about the game. Why is my name shaking? Oh, just you know, throw me in. I guess. So I guess I was the kid who fell in the mountain earlier in the that cut, opening cutscene. <gasps> the flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess I have a little old me we'll have to do. Ready? Here we go. What's going on? See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Oh, I can move around. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course, not levels. You want some love, don't ya? I do want some love. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness petals. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Oh my, you idiot. You, you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up the opportunity like this? Oh, oh, oh. Die. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. I'm safe. I'm healed, too. <laughs> See ya. What a terrible creature torturing you poor you is it you? Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come down here in a long time. Come! We will guide you through the catacombs. Ooh. Let me turn on the volume a little bit. That's not... That, that's the wrong thing. There we go. This way. I actually have the buttons. There we go. I actually have my be on the home button. Let's go. Let's go to the purple ruin gate. Ooh. 
Uh, oh. Oh wait, what is this? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Level 1, 243, Ruins Entrance. File saved. Welcome to your new home, Insane One. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Yeah, okay. What does this say? Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones. Foolish ones both walk, not the middle road. What? The middle road, huh? Alright. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Thanks. Let me read this. Stay on the path. Oh, sorry about that. I already broke that, already broke that rule. Thanks! I know that now, because I already did that now. I'm glad this game is... Mm, what do I do? Mm, something, I don't want to press the switch. Why was I press the other one? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Oh, she looks so sad. Oh, that was good. That was a good sound, apparently. Although, I thought I killed something. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike a friendly conversation. That's not counterproductive to a fight. Alright, stall for time. I will come to resolve this conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. I'm already aware of the pacifist, genocide, normal route things. And I'm gonna play the first run of this game like I would. And that's be pacifist. I'm a, I'm a big baby. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk it out. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Teriel seems happy with you. You won! This game is so easy. Ah, very good. You're very good. <laughs> Why don't I talk to him again? Oh, nothing happens. Okay. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay. This is this curvy path. Let's go! Uh, I'm gonna fight. Um, let's compliment it. Come on. That's what I thought. I'm a flattering guy. <laughs> look at that. Look at Teriel's face. She looks so angry. <laughs> and she like squints at him while he's walking away. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. It is? Okay. Give me a second. I believe. If I had to guess. Yes. Right. I'm good. Does it mean like this thing? I think this is the. I, I seen this part of the game, so I think this is the answer to the puzzles. This path. Okay. Let's see if I can remember that. Probably not. I'm probably gonna get myself killed. Let's see if I'm smart. This seems really dangerous, Toriel. Take my hand for what? Oh. I guess I don't need to solve the puzzle then. I thought you wanted me to solve the puzzle. Let go. Of my let go of my hand. I'm a free man. I can do what I want. I'm an independent man, girl, child. I actually don't know what gender I am. I doubt I'll ever be told. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. What's going on? No. I can't, I can't do it. It's possible. This is the hardest challenge I've ever given in the game. This music does not fit the situation. I'm walking to the end of a room. I'm not... I can, I can feel... I can feel death closely looming. This space of the music alone. How long is this hallway? What is this marble column? 
Oh. I found her. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend some business, and you must be stay alone for a while. I can't read. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone! Now that I think about it, you don't get cell phones very often in a video game. The only other game I can think of is like the Pokenav and Pokemon Emerald. If you try... What? If you have any... I'm sorry, I'm just gonna... Let's take a deep breath. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Sure, I'll think about it. But right now, it's time for adventure. Up, oh, time to stay in a room. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Of course not. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright. I want to try something. Yep. <laughs> the... I call it the murder dance? I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not even want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay. Uh, so... I believe that's one of the big game mechanics. If you can convince a monster not to stop fighting you, he will give up. Let's uh, compliment him. Frog didn't understand what you said, but he was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. What's that? Ah! <laughs> I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Let's call him. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Yay! What's up? What is this? It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Of course. Press C to open the menu. Okay. Items. Monster monster candy. Like candy candy for monsters or Yeah, candy made of monsters. I am I would be quite perturbed if it was the latter. I'm also quite perturbed by my amazing dictionary. Vocabulary, not dictionary. I mean, I have a dictionary right next to me, but I'm not gonna, you know, console. Halfway through your first word, Wimpson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay. <laughs> I think it's the thing that I said. Oh. Okay. I mean... I see. Um... Terrorize? You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimsome freaks out! I can't handle this. I can't handle this, man. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Hyperventilating. I'll try again. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimsome freaks out. I can't handle this. That's the most pointless attack I've ever seen. Okay. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I want some bee scotch. <laughs> uh, no. Um, I'm more fan of cinnamon. Oh, I see. Uh, I just took like two steps. Hello, this is Toriel. You don't dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I don't like. I, I don't really eat butterscotch. I don't hate it. Not, not a fan. What's this? Three out of the four gray rocks recommend you to push them. Oh. What is it? If I'm not recommended to push them, are you in a fight? I, I really like this. That's great. Halfway through your first word is 
burst into tears. What is this? Oh. In the other room, the pla the place where the pitfall were, uh, the, where the pitfall was, was also the place where the leaves were. So I'm gonna assume the opposite. So go all the way right down, a little more to the right, up. Go to the sign down. Okay. I think I, can do this. I think I gotta go to that memorize. Or I can just do it. Or I can be like a loser and take like a screenshot of it. But I I am not. I'm gonna flirt with it. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Slime sounds. It's kinda like a bullet hell. Except not. Well, I mean, it kind of is. It's just. It's not very fast paced like they are. Kind of slow. But then again, I did. The, the, the boss that I fought was one of, was considered the, the second hardest genocide boss. And so I'm, I can see how fast this game can be. You won! I got gold. Go all the way down. Let's go three to the right. Up. Street sign. Didn't you read the side downstairs? I'm gonna assume it said don't read this sign. If it, if it, I don't know what it says. I didn't read it. Right. Let's push it. All right. I almost killed him, and that would that imitate. You lie immobile with mo with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Mercy. Very easy. Wasn't there a sign that said you can only three or four blocks for recommend you to push them? I guess I meant it. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could just push me around? Hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. What a, what a sassy rock. Hmm? You want me to move over some more? Alrighty. How's this? How dare you? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Was that helpful? Yeah, actually. Oh. <sighs> I forgot he did that. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? What? Uh, I, I never thought a sassy rock could exist. Let's go to the first one. You wiggle your hips. My smile wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Purple, purple. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, this is a bit too much for me. This is a bit too I managed to dodge all of them. Um... Oh. I didn't- I don't even need to fight them? I don't even need to talk to them? I can just spare them? This is a mouse hole. You're here a mouse. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. That's... That's a meaningful thing in my, you have there, my friend. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. I don't eat cheese very often, or not at all. Does that happen? And should I be concerned that that it can happen? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Naples was it Napstab look? Nap nap stab look. Nap stab look. A patient smile. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, tears. Tears of pain. Tears are painful. Okay. I'm gonna try flirting with them. I just wish you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Oh my god. I'll try throwing him. Go ahead. Do it. 
this is depressing. Okay. The only one I seem to make any progress on was cheer. He told Naps time will joke. <laughs> and I think the teaser game less. Only two of them this time. That's like look wants to show you something. Let me try. Yeah, they're going upwards. I call it Dap Dapper Book. Do you like it? Let's bring a top hat. He made a top hat out of his own tears. Let's slow with him. Oh no. Why did he shoot out at me? Those, those tears? They look like lightning bolts. Or something. Or, or rest notes in the music, uh, music sheet. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. The day I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. You're welcome. What? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. Leave 18G in the web? I don't have 18G. I do have seven. I got a donut. Sweet. Let's just keep keep, keep on going. Did you miss it? All right, bake sale down to the right. Thanks for telling me. Can I eat food made by spiders? Or spiders of spider. All right, this bake sale promotes cannibalism and um, is a racist because it's only for spiders. Even though it did me, I'm a spider. That would explain so little. I probably would explain how I survived that fall on Mount that mountain. I forgot what it's called. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. I can do that. Well, at least you're listening to me. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's kind of impressive, actually. How, just by pressing X, it knows. Oh, you're pressing X? How dare you? Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make your have a wool, a wool screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say that least. I didn't, I didn't see what you said last. I'm not reading it again. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name and you can spare it. Yeah, I think I noticed that. What do you think of that? Very. I thought, I thought it was four choices for a second. Very, it's helpful, bad. It's bad. I hate it. Worst game ever. Maybe hey, one day you have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay. Keep that in mind. Ring. Hello? I just realized it's been a while since, I, since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might need something you really like. You'll will le want to leave it. Your, you'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Oh yeah, I got only eight items. I swear. What in God's name is that? Is that one of those weird cricket things? No, it's like a. Like a um, uh, I don't care. Uh, uh, um. Thankfully, it's just making it hard to go to the side. I don't care. La la, just be yourself. Be so happy. What did I do? <laughs> it was just sparing the slime? There was one switch. It's a mandrake! Oh, that's not a mandrake. That's a nightmare radish. Dinner? Fat your stomach. Which way offer the healthy meal? Eat your greens! Oh, there's a green one. Let's try again. I'll we'll see what happens if I eat the green one. I 
got it. The mysterious smell. I'll oh, spare him. I guess if I eat my greens, I get to spare him. <laughs> but I was like, I was like. Those are, all, those are pretty scary. That, those are only as scary as those stupid one-eyed monsters in the Mega Man Battle Network series. Pick on, don't pick on. Don't pick on, be a nice guy. Finally, someone gets it. What is this? I can spare him. You won. I got five gold for that. I got five gold for that. That's amazing. Is this a ribbon? Yes, it is. Can I equip it? Use info. Faded ribbon. Armor defense three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I, I like it. Okay. Use. You equip the ribbon. These silly sound effects remind me of Earthbound. I hear the uh, Earthbound in them. What's this? Switch. I'm gonna explore all of them. There might be some reward. There. Being. I guess he just gets mad if he's with other people. That's it. That's. That's. That's great. Hey, it's the ghost! It's Casper. Friendly ghost. A joke. N no one saw coming. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Goodbye? I guess. There's another mandrake down there, which I'm gonna fight because they get some pretty uh, decent money. I'm going to assume because I'm not killing anything is the reason why I'm not getting experience. Alright, let's do this. You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Oh, it's way over there, I'm not getting that. Devour? I'm not that mean guy. I don't know that would count as like killing it. I doubt it. I wasn't ready. I got hit. Let me do this. You try to eat the vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Part of a complete breakfast. Talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. <laughs> Thanks. I guess that makes sense. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to assume if you if actually was fighting the thing, I, could, I can just eat it. Sounds kind of hilarious. I didn't get it. It's pretty good. Generic battle music. I can't... It keeps going like on the corners and the sides. Come on. I just want to eat my greens. I got it. I only gave it one. Oh, I almost got hit. Vegetoy is here for your health. Thanks, Vegetoid. I respect you. And I didn't see anything in the top right corner. The four... The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. It's a switch. Press it? No. It's a switch. Press it? No. Alright. Huh? If you can read this, press the blue switch. I think it was the one up here. Whoops, I didn't press the switch yet. There you go, press the switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. If you hear a clicking sound, you hear a clicking sound. There's no if that sentence. If you can read this, press the red switch. Oh, I just got 10 gold. It was the red switch, right? Where's the sign? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, really fast. What an eyesore, me? What'd I do? I'm a nice guy. I'm dying, I need to heal. I have bandage. Okay, that's kinda of disgusting. Um, how much is this spider donut? Okay. 
If you can read this, press the green switch. That was the middle one, right? I mean, I don't think it was green, but it could be green. What's up here? Not going that way yet. What's over here? Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. Were they all too intimidated to talk to her? I wouldn't be surprised. What the heck is this? You found a toy knife. Is this like a, a town? I can't really go anywhere here. Toy knife, weapon attack three, made of plastic, rarity nowadays. really need that because I'm not planning on going on a killing spree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oops. Hi. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it from any longer. Come, small one. All right, let's go. Is this a tree? Every time this old tree grows and any leaves, they fall right off. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you a determination. What a weird thing to give you to heal you. Surprise! It's butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we celebrate. We might celebrate your arri arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Snail pie. Snail pie. I want some snail pie. Here, I have another surprise for you. What's this? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. I'm assuming if you're in a, uh, a cave, you got nothing else to do. The room we own. I hope you like it. Really? Oh, she's patting my head. Adorable. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Wow. This is probably the reddest room I've ever seen. Music changed. That's adorable. A box of kids' shoes and, dis and a disparity of sizes. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. What? Did I just fall asleep? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That's adorable. Look at all these cool toys. They don't itch you at all. What? But you said they were cool. What are they? Are these cool? They're like unarguably cool. Wow. And she has the most blue room I've ever seen. It's Troyel's diary. Read a circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. It's a good joke. Well, is there any more? Is there any more? Why did the skeleton know? Okay, I just want to make sure. I said her bed? Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. She has a really big goat demon thing. I guess she's a monster. It's the Encyclopedia of Subterranean Plants. You want. You open the middle one. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Well, known more commonly as water sausages. Wish we had a water sausage. Probably do. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> Scandalous indeed. Inside this drawer is flower seeds and some broken crayons. It's a mirror. I mean... It's you! Oh, it's a water sausage. Inside the drawer... Oh, wait, I read this. Room under renovations.
She's just sitting there reading a book. What does this bookshelf have to offer? It's a history book. Here are ran here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth as we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This is our new home, which we named Home. How fitting. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The end of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a s curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. <laughs> that face. Still! I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Like what? Asking that question makes me feel sad. This is like, a, for some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Okay. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use a fire magic instead. How do you know that? Why would you think? Oh. We use fire magic. That's how we cook things. So we cook. Silence compared to this music. Oh, hello. Did you want something here? Would you want a book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip, sometimes flip the digestive system as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. I have to. I want to know. I have to do something. Stay here. Where are you going? Um, seems like the right size for Toriel. Maybe it was custom made. Where do I go? Do I leave the front door? Where does she go? Nope. Scared that she. Combat. Despite not having actually fought anything technically. There she is. You wish to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Hey. I can make my own decisions. I will not leave. I desire to leave. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, I will not go to my room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. What the? Toriel blocks the way. Let's talk it out. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for this fight. This music's pretty good. Mm, I love it. 
trying to think of something to say again. But, uh, can't think. Oh, okay. I was gonna hit again. Victoria looks through you. Jeanette, you can't even look me in the face when you're doing this? Come on. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution in this, to this situation. Ironically, Prepares a magical spell. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the situation. Okay, I guess uh, do something else. This is kind of weird. Dodge. What you got? Um, spare? Whoa! Whoa! Uh. uh... Oriel is acting aloof. Okay. I guess I'm having an effect. We're getting more dot, we're getting more of those. I got hit. Toriel repairs a magical attack. Question mark? What the? I'm, they're running away from me. She doesn't want to hit me anymore. Toriel's acting aloof. What are you doing? Come on. Wow. Attack or run away? I will not run away. I won't lose. She takes a deep breath. What are you proving this way? Nothing. Proving that I don't need to fight to win my battles. Fight me or leave. I don't want to do either. I need to move on. But I don't want to fight you either. Stop it. I will not stop. I will keep going. I will not give up. You and your attacks that won't hit me. Stop looking at me that way. Give me the puppy eyes. Yeah. That's my secret to success of being any enemy. Go away! I will not leave. I will not move until you let me through, Toriel. Spare. Sad. She can't even look at me in the face anymore. She can't look my direction. I know you want to go home, but... but please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. <laughs> that smile makes me so sad. I know we do have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic. Is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aw, oh, just leave me. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, Toriel. I guess it's no time to look back. Just gotta keep on moving forward. Hope we find something here. Anyway, back home. Hopefully. But first, we gotta walk through a really long hallway. Hey, it's Flowey. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill 
Out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Don't give me that look. With your growing, melting face. Let's go. We don't need you, Flowey. So where are we? For an Undertale. Heart. By Toby Fox. A man which severely is in need of a high five right now. Because I'm having a great time. I almost teared- I started tearing up with Teriel, perfectly honest. You know I knew it was gonna happen. This is pretty much about as far as I've seen, like a little bit past this. Is that a twig? Or not? It broke. Well, I saw that. Okay, we're good, we're safe. We're okay. A oh, bridge. Um, hey kid, you, you just gonna stand there? There's some um, nightmare right behind you. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sand. Sand's the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch, human watch right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It's pretty convenient. Sup, bro? Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Don't you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. Question mark? I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lab will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boo boondoggle. Okay. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, Sans. Come on, you're smiling. You know it. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, these jokes. Ugh. I'll attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Can I come out now? Nope. Eh. <laughs> okay. I guess he really wanted the last laugh. Okay. You can come out now. Hello. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of his my hilarious jokes. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there's a there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Okay. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? 
I was thinking, my brother's been kind of a down lately. i never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Thanks, Hans. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yeah, I bet it would. What's this chest? This is the box. You can put items inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thanks. Use a box? Yes. Whoa. Wow, I don't need that. These are, I'm assuming those are healing items, which I'm assuming I will need. Oh my god. What's a joke? You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. That's pretty easy. Um, how about laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Um, heckle? You boo the Snowdrake. This won't be funny either. Whoops. Hey, Mercy, what do I do? Do I, do I joke again? You make a bad ice pun. Ha ha, nice try. The sounds is rubbing off on me, apparently. Do it again. Joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Dang it, what do I do? Let's, um, uh, let's laugh again? What are you laughing at? Um, heckle again? You boo Snowdrake. This won't be funny either. Does he make it bad ice puns until, uh, until he does something? Is that supposed to be funny? Yes, it's supposed to be hilarious. Am I supposed to laugh at my own bad joke? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'll let him do something. Ice to meet you. I get it. <laughs> now do I laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. That was wrong. Wow. That's just depressing. <laughs> you earned 12 gold? I'm making some real money. It's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. You hold it in? Yeah. All that's attached to it at the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> you send the line back out. It's a fishing rod. I'm going to pull it back in. I'll get something else. Here's my number. You decide not to call. It's pretty good. I like it. Let's get out of here. Hey, it's Pirates and Sons. So, I was saying about Undyne. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Whoa! Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Hi. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. Undyne will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular. Popular, popular. Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. Okay. I'm really loud. I will stop you. I. <laughs> Must have been Mike. I will then capture you. You'll then be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what happens next. In any case... Continue? Only if you dare. <laughs> That's a dumb laugh. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye... I'll keep an eye on Sakura for you. Okay. What's with this box? Ice cap struts into view. Can I steal this hat? Compliment. You informed the ice cap that has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. 
Whoa. Ignore. You managed to tear your way out. Tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Uh, hello, my hat's up here. Whoops, that's bad. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at the hat. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Well, you're not getting it from me. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. I also like Mario. I'm also aware that the fact that the characters' names are based off of uh, fonts. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it in my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Pet it. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Will it move? Moving! 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 It moves. It did not. It did not move. Okay, so... I don't get hit if it's blue. Will it move this time? Nope. So I just sit here not moving for a while? Will it move this time? You pet doggo. What? I've been pet. Pat? Pet? Pat? Pet? Pat? 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 Pet? Doggo has been pet. <laughs> I got third gold. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Okay. Hey, dog treats. Somebody's been smoking dog treats. A puff puff, I guess. That's, uh... Hey, it's Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move. It won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? I'm fighting. Think about a blue stop signs. Okay. What's this? We North ice, south ice, west ice. East snowden town and ice. What's north then? It's a snowman. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Okay. So I'm just gonna carry around some snow with me the entire for forever. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh, oh, human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. Well, you see, this is invisible. Electricity maze. When you touch the walls of the maze, the orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you'll ha will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. What did you do anything? Sans, what did you do? I think the human hold, has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Let's 
Hold this, please. Okay, try now. I did it. <laughs> Incredible. You are a slippery snail. You solved this so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will be not be easy. It is assigned by my brother, Sans. You'll surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> yeah. Do you just out of here? Hey, thanks. My brother seems to have... Seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for our costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keep call keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I guess. Oh, okay. Alright. What the heck is this thing? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's a perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Sure, why not? Here you go, have a super duper day. You got nice cream. That's a snowball. This is a snowball. I'm gonna play with the snowball. I guess it's the way I'm supposed to go. It's down here. There's a lot of stuff or somewhere I'm not supposed to. Oh, the snowball melted. I'll, I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Just five gold. I did say five gold. I meant fifty gold. Do it. Really? How about five thousand gold? Yes. Fifty thousand. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> Thanks. What the hell is that? Smell danger ratting. Snow smell. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell rolling around. Weird smell. Human green rating. Destroy at all costs. Hers. His. I'm. I don't get it. Is there a joke? Are they supposed to be rats? They're trying to destroy me? What's with this hole? Ah, wow! Whoa! It's a hole! I think this game is either dumber than me or smarter than me, and I've yet to decide which one it is. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... decahedron. The legendary snow... Human, I hope you're ready for... Sons, where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids World Search. <laughs> hey kids, can you solve my... Can you solve this puzzle? Did I... Did I... Uh... Sons? I didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easier, is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy word scramble. As for baby bones. Un. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, crossword? I don't know. Crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at the crossword, all I can do is snore. Yeah. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve a horoscope. <laughs> How do you solve a horoscope? It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. Papyrus. Might be the smartest person in this game. 
Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to eat the heat out the spaghetti. It feels with determination. Is there a mouse hole? There is. <laughs> it's a play of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. One day, frat. One day, you can heat up the spaghetti. Warning. Dog marriage. Okay. Lesser dog appears. There's so many options. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Yeah. Oh, you're not a good dog. Oh, that's it? That's all I need to do? You won! I got nothing. What is it? Whoa. What's under here? I need to figure it out. It's the answer to the puzzle. It's interesting. It's kind of the move, though. So... I'm assuming this is the map? Oh, yeah. Um... It's probably the answer to a puzzle, but I don't know what puzzle is answering. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Oh. Oh, I get it. The block. The the blacks. Things were trees. Are, are these the two foxes things I read about? What's that smell? What is that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Like the blues clues or something. Hmm, that's a weird smell. It makes you want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Ah, oh, dog marriage. You're rolling, you roll around the dirt and snow. Your smell's like a weird puppy. Take my wife. Please. Don't actually. What the, what the heck? Uh, uh, uh. The dogs may want to re-smell you. You smell alright. What? Smells like a... Uh, are you actually a little puppy? How do you dodge this? This is kind of weird. I don't know the dodge of... The dogs think that you're, you may be a lost puppy. Uh, let me heal. I might die. You just probably don't. You recovered. Totally HP. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. There we go. I figured I dodged it. I make a heart. Yeah. There's too much love. Did I pet? A pet that a dog that pets dogs? Amazing! You have found Oh dogs are sick. Say slickly see things to each other. You pet Wow, pet by another pup. Well don't leave me out. What do I do? Do I try to spare him? There we go. <laughs> the dog's minds have been expanded. Dogs can get can pet other dogs? A new world is open for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. What? I got two triangles. Is that good enough? No. I don't get it. How about a triangle? What? 
How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell the pirates about spaghetti? Left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Pyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Do I just, like, not walk through it? Yes. It's not a puzzle. It's. What is it? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Something. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human? Hmm. How do I say this? You were talking a long, taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and as useful as usual, my lady brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, let's do it. Hmm, let's get a good look at everything. Looks like a skeleton now. I better look at it. Wow, you solved it! And you did with all of that my help. Incredible! I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Maybe. Good job of solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. It's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You'll see these tiles. Once I throw the switch, it will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on one, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented, and they will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, a blue tile is next to a yellow tile. The water tile will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile, however, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They do, don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How old is that? Understand? Of course. Great! And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Still kind of funny. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking le lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet he keeps it up. Next year, he'll even have something edible. The machine isn't working. It's a dog. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn to art. Can I, can I, can I look at the art? Or the snow? No. Okay. On the floor inside is a box of pomer pomerasians. Pom pom. pom mm, I don't know. The, okay. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Plez. Plez pet dog. Plez. Knowing the dog will never give up, trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. 
in play for like an hour, but I gotta stop soon. That dog in series itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that his brain is the size of a, of a piece of kibble. Well, I need to take a break like for a while. But I'm having a lot of fun. This game is actually really, really good. Really funny, too. But that's enough for this. I'm gonna... So, uh, see you guys next time for some more Undertale. See you guys next time. Bye.